it's the first meeting in South Korea. So how long have you been here? Since uh, the Sunday, this past Sunday. I will stay longer, then you learn full out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I'm Dr. Salpia Karagian, and we've been doing cochlear implant surgeries in Armenia since 2004, so this is our 15th anniversary. And um, we've done over 125 implants, uh, performed 125 cochlear implant surgeries, and five bone anchored hearing aid, which is another kind of a surgery for children who are not totally deaf, but need this uh, implant to make their hearing better. So um, we are very dedicated for this project because these are our children. These are our children that we can do something for them. Um, through the implants, they're able to then hear. Once they hear, they're able to speak. And then once they're able to speak, of course, they are in the mainstream, meaning they go to regular schools, they go to the university, and then when they are old enough, they're in the workforce, which is what we want, so that they are working. They are not a burden on the government's budget. I've been working very closely with uh, Salpi, Professor Shakurian, and uh, Vigen Bakshinian since actually 1999. The first trip we made was 2004, and it's been truly a privilege to work with beautiful ch children of Armenia, Armenian people, just wonderful. And um, I think I'm beginning to look s maybe a little like Armenian, but uh, <laughs> we've been uh, working together with our colleagues in Armenia. We work very closely together, and we actually learn by uh, working together. And my goal is to not only uh, continue working together to help the children and improve the surgical skills, implementing the state-of-the-art neonatal screening projects, but to integrate the uh, research side of uh, otology uh, with our Armenian team. It's an honor. Mr. President, I thank you for the support of the Foreign Ambassador. I thank you for the support of the Foreign Ambassador. I thank you for the support of the Foreign Ambassador. I thank you for the support of the Chamunarpazadrelvorkam <laughs> And I think uh, it's been such a privilege to work in, in Armenia. I've been here 18 times, but this is the very first time that I had an opportunity to meet with uh, President of Armenia, and it was an amazing experience. And uh, just by meeting him, you can tell that he's a man who has very strong uh, leadership role uh, skills, and um, I'm sure that with his help and guidance, we're going to be able to implement better neonatal uh, screening projects, start uh, uh, intervening earlier to help children 